Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a framer button component that has multiple variants and variables. Let's go. Here we are in framer. Let's start by creating a text element. So I'll click on text, click on the canvas, and I'm just going to type button label. Now, currently you cannot see this, so let's make the color white and Let's add an icon to this. So I'll go to the insert menu. I'll go to icons and I'm going to choose hero. So I'm just drag that in and I'm going to make this 20 by 20. All right, let's zoom in here so we can see what we're doing. Now let's select both of these. We'll press shift A to add them automatically to a stack. We're going to set direction to horizontal, distribute center, align center. And I'm going to set the gap to eight pixels. And I'm going to set this icon to cube, like so. And let's also set the color to white for now. Next up, let's select this frame and let's rename it to button. Let's set its width to fit content and let's add a fill to it. So in the right side, fill, click, and we're going to add that color or any color that you might want. Now, I'm using a stack because I want this button to expand or contract to accommodate its content. As you can see now, if I change the text inside, the button gets smaller as well. Let's add some padding to it. So with my stack selected, I can click on this button and add 12 pixels of padding on top and bottom and 20 pixels to left and right. And I can also make this button rounded by changing its radius to 50. Okay, now I have the base style of my button let's turn it into a component. So I'm going to select the frame. And there are a, a number of ways I can do this, I can right click on this and create component or I can right click in the layers panel here and choose create component, or I can use the Control Alt K keyboard shortcut that's on Windows on a Mac, it would be Command Option K. So create component, we'll call it a button. And what I love about Framer is that each component is uh, editable in its own dedicated canvas. This is the primary variant of my component, which means all the other variants will be based on this one. So I can double click this and I can call it default. Now with it selected, I can add a hover state to it. So let's click that. And the hover state, well, I just want a lighter color. So I can do that by, you know, choosing a lighter version of that color from the color picker. I can also create a secondary type of button. So I'm going to select the default and I'm going to click variant. And I'm going to call this variant secondary. Now for it, I will remove the fill. And instead, I'm going to add a border. And I'm going to sample that background color. And I'm going to use a very, very light version of it, something like that. So let's copy that color. And let's also apply it to the label and the icon. And for some reason that got mixed up. And let's also apply it to the button and the label here. And now I'm going to select the secondary and I'm going to make the border this color, but a lot lighter, let's say 24% in opacity. And then selecting the secondary, I will create a hover state for it. And the hover state will basically just set that border color again to 100% opacity. So now if I preview this default button, it looks like this. We have a, a nice transition 
applied automatically by Framer. And if we preview the secondary button, it looks like this. Again, with that transition automatically applied. So now I can double click anywhere to exit the edit mode for that component. So now we have this component sitting in my main design. But I'm currently still using the original label and the original icon. I would like to be able to change these depending on the context. So let's go back into edit mode and I'll select the button label and over on the right side where it says content, I'll click on content and I'll create a variable, plain text. I'm gonna call this button label and I can click outside. What about the icon? Select that, go to the name property, click plus, create variable. I'm gonna call this icon, nice. So now if we go back and I select this component, you'll see that on the right side, I have the option to choose the variant, right? So I can choose between the default and the secondary. But now I have additional options. I can change the label And I can also choose a different icon. Let's go ahead and choose like an arrow up right, something like that. But then I can duplicate this component and I can create a secondary button. So let's choose the other variant. Let's say the text or the label should say learn more, but I don't want an icon for this one. So how do I fix that issue? Well, we can go back into the edit mode for the component and I can select the icon and I can create a new variable for it, specifically for the visibility. So I need to go where it says visible right here and I can click on that to create a variable. Now this variable is a yes or no, it's a Boolean variable. And I can call it show icon. And by default, I'm going to set it to yes. So click outside, double click to exit edit mode. So now with that second button selected, I can go in the inspector and choose don't show the icon. And that's just going to hide the icon only on that button. This one still has it. Super nice, very easy to create components in Framer. And when we preview this, we have two buttons with different styles, but each of them is part of the same component. And the beauty of using components is that if I wanna make layout changes to these buttons, I can do it only on the primary. Let's say I wanna increase the gap between the text and the icon. If I increase this to 16, that's going to happen on all the other variants, including the hover states. Maybe I want to increase the top and bottom padding from 12 to 16. Again, that's a change that's reflected on all the other variants of that button. And the way you uh, make these buttons is entirely up to you. You can create as many variants as you want, uh, you know, for different types of buttons, for different sizes of buttons. Uh, maybe you want to create a version where the icon is on the other side of uh, the button label. The choice is really up to you. Uh, the choice is yours, I should say, uh, but Framer makes it super easy for you to create uh, these components. That's it. That was a short video on Framer. Uh, I really love this tool for uh, web development. Recently, I started getting more and more into it. And I am constantly finding things that I really love 
uh, about it. I also have a, a couple of other uh, YouTube videos on my channel if you fancy having a look. But yeah, I highly recommend it for anyone who wants to do web development without writing a single line of code. With that said, thanks very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'm Adi and I'll see you next time. Take care.